Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is a 61 Benz episode. It's uh, probably the last one for a long time. We, uh, me and one of my boys managed to pressurize the brakes on the rear axle because I actually had the wheel cylinders for the rear axle and I uh, managed to piece together that, that rusted master cylinder. You know, I got it all extracted. I thought it was dead, like done for. But managed to get the piston out. I saved the rubbers. The rubbers were actually, you know, the O-rings were in good shape. And, um, and um, put it all together. I honed it out. I honed out the cylinder as much as I could, but there's some pitting in there. But I put it together anyway. I'm like, you know, hey, I think it'll work. And sure enough, it doesn't even leak down. Um, it works. So I got a brake pedal for the rear axle only, which is nice. Um, now I'm just waiting on the radiator. Uh, the thing's ready to go. Um, so on this go around, it's got it's got a brake pedal. It's got adjusted valves. They do sound good. I already fired it up for a few seconds without the radiator. It's got an oil change with an air filter, new water pump, new thermostat with an oil filter. Um, it's got the water pump, the thermostat, um, cleaned up the generator, put that back in, got the belt tightened, and um, looking forward to actually, you know, taking it down the road through the neighborhood. Um, um, I could put that Falcon radiator back in, but I'm just going to wait till my buddy finishes the stock radiator because I want to do test that. And that'll be it. I think it's, you know, I keep saying that'll be it, but I'm really, that project needs to stop due to funds. Uh, it's at a really good stopping point, I think, with it being able to drive around the neighborhood. Uh, it proves the concept that the engine and all the you know parts works and everything so i'm looking forward to that voyage but that'll be it uh it's gonna be you know a lot of research into the parts and like collecting all the little fasteners for the trim and the little tiny washers for the wood trim and you know locating a dash pad which i already have found um you know just finding all the interior trim disassembling some of the parts all the stuff that doesn't really require any money um the next big step's gonna be is finding a chrome shop getting an estimate then finding a body shop getting an estimate but that's probably gonna be at the rate it's going probably another 12 months out before anything big happens with it i'm guessing um just not in a hurry it is a retirement project the way I see it, I started that project probably, you know, a decade sooner than I thought I would. Um, so I'm pretty stoked that it's actually like it came alive, but I have to stop. I got other financial priorities I want to do, you know, I want to I want to focus on and but like restoring these old cars is kind of like, you know, it's a passion, but it can become an addiction. It's like crack. You know, you you see something that old come alive one part at a time, and you don't want to stop. You know, you want, oh, I'll just get one more part. It's just, oh, another $80 part off of eBay. And that $80 part, well, while I'm in there, let's get this other $40 part. You know, and next thing you know, you're now another $800 into it. Uh, up to this point, it has been at around $2,300 that I'm into it to get it to drive. Um, there's minus a couple hundred bucks in there for parts that I bought just to buy that are not on the car. Uh, I bought some motor mounts because they were cheaply available. I bought a mirror, um, outside mirror, because... I failed. I wanted to buy the passenger side because I want a mirror on both sides. But I bought another left one. So I'm going to have to, you know, eBay that one. I don't want another left one or just keep it as a spare. Um, but yeah, uh, 
you know, it just keeps going. You don't want to stop, but at some point I got to stop because I really want to focus on other other things. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I want to focus more on going camping, off-roading, and all that costs money, right? The food, especially the gas. Um, the restaurants that go with the trips, it's pricey. So, you know, I got to park something. So the Benz is what's going to be parked. But it's good. I'm pretty happy it's going. I uh, got it all back together. Gonna take it for a quick run. With a brake pedal. And it not overheating. So now it's got a radiator. Um, and a brake pedal. I already said it's got a brake pedal. Um, it's actually running pretty decent still smokes a bit I think there's something going on in one of the carburetors but uh, I'm actually pretty happy that it is that it's actually running go through the gears there's third and there's fourth gear um, temp is good. It's just about at 190 F. The gauge is in Fahrenheit. Yeah, I think something's not right in the carburetor. Maybe the one of the gaskets that was quite not exactly is probably not the right one. Um, so it's letting in too much fuel or something and it ain't running right. Might still need points. Those crazy points that I've piled. Grab my camera real quick. A little slow going into third gear on the synchro. Don't know if it's worn out or if the linkage is unadjusted. Could be unadjusted. But um, now that I'm rolling, the temp's coming back down closer to 180. It is charging, but it's charging above an idle. So if it's sitting there. If it's sitting there idling, it's uh, it doesn't charge. You gotta actually get the motor spinning. And the speedometer's working. And the odometer's clocking. So I'm pretty stoked. I can actually like move it now with a with an actual brake pedal. So Uh, it's pretty cool. There you have it. ignition all right that completes this journey and um 
the journey of the 61 Benz phase of getting it moving on its own power reliably and safely. So we'll see you in who knows when on this particular project, but you'll probably see it in the background. I'll probably comment on it in my other videos, but for now this mainstream project is uh, kind of on hold. So thanks for watching and until next time.